welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Surprise! Another Thanksgiving prep edition. Y'all, when we think about Thanksgiving buffet and turkey and dressing, one of the first things that comes to mind is cranberry sauce. And I'm going to tell you, we love it right out of the can. You just <laughs> can't beat it, y'all. I would not dare not have a buffet without that sauce on it. But I'm going to tell you, I have two easy, easy recipes for relish that you may just want to add to your buffet. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you, they're good. And so, KK, let's get started. Y'all, the first thing that you'll need is a 12 ounce package of fresh cranberries. Now, I have washed these and got them ready and I've picked through them to make sure all of them are good. Then to that, you will add one cup of sugar. Oh, <laughs> uh, sugar. <laughs> okay. All right. And then one cup of orange marmalade. Now let's pour that in there, KK. And one cup of chopped walnuts. Okay. Y'all just let we go. Stir those up and let them get well acquainted with one another. We want to be sure that that sugar kind of goes ahead and dissolves a little bit. Now, this is one we are going to bake. And oh, happy day, 350 degrees. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh goodness. Okay, now this goes into a cover dish. And y'all, we did this um, last year, but it was mixed in with another um, video, and I've had several people to ask about this recipe. Now, this was actually shared with me by one of my followers that year, and we decided to include it. So, y'all, but I will have to tell you this much. This is funny. KK and I were trying to multitask that day, mm -hmm. and so we put this thing in the oven, and you do bake it covered. And so we were running around trying to do some things, and y'all, I came in here real quick to check this in the oven, and when I pulled it out, the whole thing fell all over the kitchen, all over the oven door. It was the biggest mess you've ever seen. So we're gonna be extra careful today <laughs> with this thing, I'm gonna tell you. Now, you bake it for 45 minutes on 350 degrees. Oh, y'all, what would we do if we didn't have 350 degrees. Okay, now we just sit this in the oven on the bottom rack. <laughs> and we'll check it after about 20 minutes. What you do is you check it and you stir it just a little bit. And so we'll see how it's doing. So we'll be right back. Okay, while that first relish is baking, y'all, I'm gonna show you the second relish. Now this one came from a good friend of mine, Fran. I ate this at her house when she was having us over for a meal one time. And I said, oh, friend, I've just got to have that recipe. And she said, well, actually, she said, my daughter-in-law made it, but I'll see if I can get the recipe for you. Well, she did. Y'all, it is super easy. Now, all you're going to need is a bag of cranberries. That's that 12 ounce bag. Two cups of sugar. And one orange. You will probably need a food processor to do this one. If not, you go really have to chop a lot. <laughs> so I cut the little end off of this because sometimes that's kind of bitter. All right, now, and y'all you use, I've, I've washed this orange good and you use peeling and all. Now this is a seedless, so we don't have to worry about having seeds in it. All right. Okay, let's put these in the food processor and I just drop them in there just like that, okay? And then y'all, I'm just gonna pulse this because I don't really want this stuff just obliterated. <laughs> we want some texture to it. So let's just pulse it a little bit. It's kind of noisy. Okay, y'all, now see that kind of texture in there because this is going to um, do some more because we're going to add the cranberries now. 
Let's see, KK. Let's get all those cranberries in there. Okay. Oh, y'all, this is so good. And you know, it smells so good mm -hmm. because that fresh orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, this is noisy, so we're not going to stay with you long. See that texture? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take this out and put it in a bowl and then add our sugar to it. Oh, y'all, it smells good. That fresh orange. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it smell good, KK? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, y'all, we're going to try to get all of this out of here. It kind of wants to stick. Okay, we're going to add the sugar to this. And we're going to blend, just stir this up really good. Kind of let this sugar start dissolving. Y'all, this not only tastes good, but it's pretty. It's really, with that orange and that cranberry look in there. Now, this is one that will refrigerate. There's no cooking at all to it. We'll just get all this stuff acquainted with one another really, really good. And then we're going to put it in a container and let it sit. You need to let this sit at least oh, three to four hours. And really, it's better if it sits overnight. Mm. So you can, or two or three days. Listen, this stuff you can make. You can make it today. <laughs> and it'll be good for Thanksgiving Day. Y'all, you're going to love it. It is so good. Okay. It's been 20 minutes, and I'm going to stir this good. Now, y'all, what y'all, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Now, what you want to do is to make sure that your cranberries have popped, and you can see that most of those have. You may have to help them along. <laughs> so, um, but y'all, I had to add about 10 more minutes to my time, and it will depend on your oven, and it will depend on the cranberries that you have. So, but these will, as it cools, it will begin to congeal. Y'all, wasn't that easy? Now, this one can be served warm or cold. Now, if you want to serve it cold, of course, you would refrigerate it. But, hey, wouldn't it just be a nice change to have something warm on the buffet that's um, made out of cranberries? <laughs> I think it would be. So, y'all, this would just make a nice addition and so simple to make. Simple ingredients. Y'all have a blessed day, and everybody remember, shine for Jesus.